First question, we have if x is equal to negative 3, what is the value of x squared minus 1 over x plus 1? So all we have to do is plug in negative 3 into this x and that x and then do the computation after that. That's all. So when we plug in negative 3 into this x, be sure we put down a parenthesis first and then we will have the negative 3 inside of the parenthesis and this is raised to the second power and then after that we have the minus 1 and then this is over we see that on the denominator here we have this x so let me put down parentheses as well and then we will have the negative 3 into this parentheses and then we have the plus 1 so now this is the setup and we just have to work out the computation to do that let's work out this exponent first this is parentheses negative 3 to the second power and what does that mean? Well, let me write it down on the side for you guys. This right here, we see that we have a parenthesis to the second power. The exponent tells us to write down whatever we have this, two times, and then multiply. So this is the same as parenthesis negative 3 times another parenthesis negative 3. And then we see that negative 3 times negative 3 give us positive 9. So 9 will be the result of this part and let me put it down right here and I'm going to make a small remark on the parentheses uh, after we finish this question but now let's focus on continuing this question this is 9 and then we have the minus 1 and then this is over we see that for this part there's nothing in front there's no exponent so this is just negative 3 we don't need the parentheses and then we have the plus 1 after that All right. Now, we have to work out the top. 9 minus 1 is 8 over negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And then at the end, we see that positive 8 divided by negative 2. The result is going to be negative, and then we will have 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So as you can see, the answer to this question is choice A, negative 4. That's it. But then, now, I would like to address the issue on what happened if we don't have the parentheses for the exponent earlier. If the question was, if you're working out this question such as negative 3 to the second power, there's no parentheses, okay? What does this mean? Well, in this situation, the exponent 2 is only good for the 3. Unlike earlier, the exponent 2 was good for the parentheses. When the exponent was for the parentheses, we had to write down the parentheses two times, along with the things inside, two times. This time, the exponent 2 is only good for the 3. Well, 3 to the second power means we have 3 times 3. But then, we still have this negative in the front, so we have to maintain that. At the end, we see that we have to maintain this negative, and then, 3 times 3 in red give us 9. So, if the question is negative 3 to the second power without parentheses, the answer for this is negative 9. And of course, this is totally different than positive 9. So be sure you work this out carefully. Anyways, this is it for the first question. Check out the next video for the second question. That's it!